We are set, ready to rock for this Madden Ultimate Team matchup. And these guys on your screen, ready to rock as well. Some of the stars of today's game. And speaking of the game, let's get right to it. Here's the punter, Thomas Morstead, to get this one started. And off we go in Madden Ultimate Team. That'll be taken in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. Now here's the first carry for Amir Abdullah. And he'll find some space up to about the 25. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. And once again, leverage wins. The offensive line lower than the defensive front. They moved them and found some good space for the guy carrying the ball. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. An early test. Two plays in. This is third and two. Play fake to Abdullah. It's Stafford. Man, Arthur Rice. And now look at this. Big gain to the fumble. And his crew will take over at their own 45-yard line. And without a doubt, not the way they pictured that opening drive unfolding. No, they were making progress. They weren't exactly in high gear. But they, they were making a few yards along the way. Now that they've topped it up, they to go back to the sidelines and regroup a little bit. Murray. And he's going to be stopped here on this first play as he gets it to the line of scrimmage and no more. Mike Singletary, the one to bring him down. Second down, nine yards to go. Now the defense definitely showing blitz here. Time running out here on the play clock. A toss to Murray. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. It's a loss of two, now third down. This is going to sound a little strange, but that was a really nice effort because he broke a tackle and almost sprang free, but it still ended up with a loss of yardage. The defense won that battle. Out of the gun, it's McNair. And this is going to be incomplete. I think that's a big-time play there because the slant route is really hard to cover because the timing is so quick. But able to see it, diagnose it, and get to the football, that's why he's able to battle the run. He'll try and throw for it here. Escaping the pressure right. On the run, he'll let this go deep. Come right. on, guys. Amazing move to go for it. Predictably, at least somewhat predictably, it doesn't pay off. And the Bucs are going to take over with excellent field position to boot. On first down, Abdullah. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Yeah, that wasn't a big run, just a short one there. But guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab back there, and you throw it again, you throw it again, then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set them up. So many offenses want to include their running backs into their passing offense and be able to swing the ball out or check it down to them. But sometimes those guys are just not as comfortable catching the ball as they are running it. Throwing on third down, Stafford. He's got time in the pocket. He's going to walk this one deep left sideline. And it's incomplete, almost intercepted. He had a great shot of picking that off in the end zone. It brings up fourth down. So here we go. The offense is going to stay out there. They're going for it on fourth and eight. They snap it to Stafford. He's got his man in the cross. Oh, my God. For real. 13 on the play. And they're able to pick up the conversion here on fourth down. And that's what you've got your tough little slot receiver for, isn't it? Right there, those fourth down conversions in the middle of the field. He knows that's where he has to make his living, and that's where he has to make play. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by the veteran James Harrison. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And here comes Tennessee as they get sent to take the field. And last time they were very fortunate this offense. They went for it on four, turned it over in their own territory. But the other guys held up. They didn't get up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the head coach? That was planned going in. 
into it. Not necessarily to not get the first down or to, or to have the defense have to hold it. He up. trusted his defense. Trusted his defense very much, and I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it. Be aggressive because I've got the wild bunch backing me up over here on my own side. Now we'll see what his offense can do. A run. It's Murray. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets this football out shy of the 30 to the 29. But we just saw him run the football really effectively there with three tight ends in the game. And any defensive coordinator, when they see that set, if they can get more bodies out onto the field, not more than 11, of course, but bigger bodies to combat what they're going to do, because that's a run-heavy formation. Those guys are out there to block nine times up. With the former volunteer Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's the Titans with the football here to begin quarter number two. They've got a second down and eight to start things out. back at the 27. They lost four there, and it's third down. There's another. And now the Bucs deciding to take a timeout defensively. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. From the gun, here's McNair. Flushed out right. And that is incomplete. You serious, man? They got pressure there and only rushing three. And there's a defensive coordinator right now who is celebrating not just getting home with three there, but realizing if that's the type of pressure he can get in the entire game, then his pass defense is going to be excellent. He dropped an eight. What are you going to do with the football? Now McNair. He can't bring him down. The weight room does work. What a real head scratcher there. And the Bucs are going to take over with excellent field position to boot. Well, that, my friend, I guess is the definition of a head scratcher. Fourth and long, this stage of the game, what were they doing? I just have to believe that he, he looked at the situation, still in the first half, decided if there's a time to be aggressive, now was it, because there's still time to make up for it if things don't go right. Of course, a lot of questions on this one, and look, I want to go for it as much as anyone. But fourth and long? Yeah, I don't think I would have there. That one seemed a little bit on the irrational side. Fans might be a little angry at that one. They'll run here. Abdullah. And he will have the first down at about the 21-yard line. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. I always appreciate runners who understand situations. That was just third and inches. No reason to dance around in the backfield and try and break up a bigger play. Just go pick up the first down, and that's exactly what he did. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. A second down run for Abdullah, and he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Four yards on the play, and that leads to the first and goal. But we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. A well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. Let's play the game, dude. And the two-minute warning lurking. This will probably be the last play before we hit it. Yeah, they want to get themselves in position to score in this last shot before the clock hits. They run. Charles. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Jamal Charles. An eight-yard touchdown run. And the Bucs are able to strike for six. And that one gives the Bucs a seven-to-nothing lead. So after the touchdown, team right now. now on to kick this one away. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. 
to throw. McNair flush to his right. Trying to squeeze it again. Come on, man. Darius Slay with a pick. And they'll start with...